video will show you how to sign up for a Goodreads account and use this account to interact with books and authors, find books and recommendations, and keep track of your reading. First, you'll navigate to the Goodreads homepage. If you have an account, you can choose to sign in. If you do not have an account, then you can sign up with um, one of these options. So if you choose sign up with email, what you will do is you'll enter your name as you would like it to appear on Goodreads, an email address for the account, and create a password. Once you've done that, you can click sign up. Once you have created your account, you will be taken to the Goodreads home page, which will look something like this. Once you begin to add books and follow other people and authors, you will have a central news feed with information. But many of these other things will be there right off the bat, such as news and interviews and reading recommendation options, and an option to set a reading goal, which we will talk about later on in this video. To start off, you have options at the top of this page. This is the home screen you are on. My Books will show you the books that you have marked as to read, books you are currently reading, books you want to read, as well as other bookshelves that you have created. Browse will allow you to browse various books and genres. The Community tab allows you to see groups you can join and discussions and other options. There's also a notification tab. It will show messages you have. It will show an inbox. It will show the friends list that you have if you add friends. And also the last one here, which will show your profile picture once you have added one if you choose to. This will show all information about your profile. If you would like to add a profile picture, you can navigate to your profile page, choose Edit Profile, and add a photo over here from your computer. You can also change information about your page, such as your name and other information. If you want to start searching for books, you can do that through the Browse tab, or you can simply search a book title or author. Once you've typed in a title, you will see that there is a drop-down. You can choose one from here if it's one you want, or you can press Enter on your keyboard or this magnifying glass to search this title. Most often, the title you are searching for will appear at the top, but sometimes you may have to scroll a bit. As you can see, there are many titles pertaining to Pride and Prejudice, which I have typed. There are adaptations and other editions, so you can scroll around and click on them if you'd like to see more information. Once you've found the one you want, you can click on it. To see more information about it, you can read a description, you can see what genres other users have, a, um, have tagged it as, and then you can choose how you want to interact with this book. If it's something you would like to read, you can choose the tab and click right here, want to read. Otherwise, you can hover over this drop down. You can say that you've already read it or you're currently reading it or add shelf and you can create a new shelf to add it to. So right here, if you click want to read, it saves it and now shows you want to read. You can see how that is applied by clicking on my books. Once you click to want to read, Goodreads has automatically placed it in this bookshelf so you can always refer back to it. And this is where it is. If you have finished the book, and you want it to show in a list of books you have already read, you can hover over this arrow and click Read. This pop-up 
allows you to write a review of the book if you'd like. You can add your own rating to the book. And you can also show the time frame that you read the book if you choose. But all you need to do, if you don't want to do any of this, is just click Post. And it will now show that you have read the book. You can see that in your bookshelves by coming back to your My Books page, clicking on Red, and seeing that now Pride and Prejudice is there. It will also show you the date you added it, and you can edit that if you'd like. If you want to browse specific genres, you can click Browse. You can see recommendations based on books that you have added to bookshelves. You can see new releases, various lists, and more. So if you click all genres over here, you can come onto the right side and see many different genres that you can choose from. If you click one, you'll first be shown new releases that have been tagged as the genre you've chosen. If you scroll down, you can see what has been the most read in the genre. And you will also see lists that users have created in this genre. So using fantasy, these are the many lists that people have created and put fantasy books in. And then farther down are fantasy titles that you can browse. Once you've begun to add books, you will see options in your feed. You will also see what you um, have your, your current bookshelves and picks on the side of your home page. You can also, by clicking browse, see book news and author interviews and various other book information. In the community tab, there are also many other options that may be interesting to you, such as quotes. If you click on quotes, you can see popular book quotes. You can see recent and other options. You can also type in a specific keyword or an author to see those quotes. Another feature of Goodreads that is often very helpful is in searching for series. If you search a series, there is a way to see the books in that series listed in order. So if you search for a book, Goodreads will tell you if it's in a series. And by clicking on that, just below the title, there is a link. And once you click that, you will be taken to a page that shows you all the books in that series in order. If you want to see more information about the book, you can click on it and scroll down, see the page number, the publication date, and other information. Goodreads also allows you to follow people and authors. You can find authors by searching for them and clicking under and clicking on their name under one of their books, which will take you to their Goodreads page. You can see information about the author. You can choose to follow them. And you can see questions that people have asked the author and even post your own. When looking at books, you can also see reviews on the book and even add your own comments and reviews or respond to the comments and reviews of others if you'd like. The page for a book also shows what lists that this book may appear in that people have created. Another fun feature of Goodreads can be found either on your home page or by clicking on your profile icon 
and choosing Reading Challenge. This is a fun challenge for yourself if you would like to set a goal. The challenge begins each year and you have the option to choose how many books you would like to read in that year and then start your challenge. After you have started your challenge, every time you mark a book you're reading as finished, it will add it to your challenge page. And this is how it will look. Search for a book. Mark it as currently reading or mark it as read and set the date to that year. Now that we're currently reading the book, you can see it in your currently reading tab. And then if you mark it as read, it will then show up in your reading challenge. If you have any questions about the information provided in this video or any other features of Goodreads, please call the library at 860-665-8700 to schedule a one-on-one -on -one tech help appointment with a librarian.